The other day brought to you by Celsius for this heavyweight co-main event. Dennis Koltsov is 33, Hannah Fajera is one year older. Fajera is six feet, eight inches tall. He also weighed in at 261 pounds near the limit of 265. You can see the height advantage translates to a significant reach advantage on the arms and on the legs for Hena Fajera. All right, keys to victory for Goldsoft. It's all about that jab, and that jab will lead into his excellent takedowns, and he also needs to utilize some excellent ground and pound if he is able to get Fajeda on his back. And for Fajeda, he needs to use those long-range strikes, be aware of that cage. Sometimes he gets caught up with that thing behind him, and he also needs to get back to his feet if he does get taken down. Andy Shepard, the voice of the PFL Smart Cave. Ladies and gentlemen, the following seven-figure fight is our co-main event of the evening. Five rounds of action for the PFL Heavyweight World Championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he's a jiu-jitsu and boxing specialist and stands six feet, eight inches tall. He weighed in officially at 261 and one quarter pounds and holds a record of 11 wins, three losses and two no contests. Nine wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting at the Porangatu, Brazil. Problema. Hena Ferreira. His opponent fighting out of the red corner. He is a combat sambo specialist and stands six feet five inches tall. He weighed it officially at 244 and one half pounds. In 39 fights, has built a record of 32 victories and seven defeats. 26 wins coming by way of stoppage. Fighting out of St. Petersburg, Russia. Dennis. Gold song! Your referee charge, Fernando Yamazaki. Dennis Goldsob is there in the I'm blue ready. trunks. Ina Ferreira in the gray. Touch of the gloves. And the largest fight in PFL history is underway. Fajeda banks that calf kick early. Randy, you know it better than anyone. You have to respect every bit of power that these heavyweights possess. Yep, takes one. You can't get out of position. You can't zig when you're supposed to zag. It literally only takes one shot from these guys. Fajeda doing a good job of just doing some subtle things, trying to get Goldsoft to jump first. PFL recently purchased Bellator, promised us champion versus champion card. And that is the Bellator heavyweight champion, Ryan Bader. Ryan, welcome to the show. What's going on, guys? Glad to be here. Look, you're not undersized, but against two guys like this, you would give up yeah. some size. What do you think? Yeah, some big boys in there. Yeah, watching this fight here. Six days. You know, uh, Kulsan free game big two, so. Looking forward to this fight, watching this fight, and then let's see camp for some camp and uh, get it going. Nice twisting body lock by Dennis Goldsoft from a double underhook position to get Ferreira, Ferreira to the ground. Now Goldsoft looking to improve his position. Trying to pass all the way to the mount here. And Goldsoft really driving that shoulder into the jaw of Fajeda. Now Fajeda in a much better position. He decides to go over the head instead. Now attacking that left arm of Fajeda, looking for that Kimura. He's got the grip. Blood from the nose of Goldsoft. Hannah Fajeda, left arm in trouble here. Dennis Goldsoft. Trying to crank that shoulder. Very difficult to finish like that from half guard. 
can't get out and use your hips to crank that arm. Yes. His legs are preventing that. And we asked Conan Severa, the head coach at American Top Team, who's been working with Hanan Fajero, how you get ready for someone with the versatile skills of Dennis Goldsoff. What did you do to get Hanan Fajero ready? He said, I put him through hell. <laughs> And that's exactly what Dennis Goldsoff is trying to do right now, Ezekiel choke attempt. Thought about it briefly, nothing doing. Good job by Goldsoff to pummel that right underhook right back in to get control. And we've seen Fajeda in the past on the ground. He tends to get a little bit inefficient, starts to tire. So excellent strategy here from Goldsoff to get him down early. And to keep him busy on his back. Looking for that Ezekiel again. Ryan Bader, Bellator heavyweight champion, smothering performance so far from Goldsoff, and you see he keeps attempting this Ezekiel. Yeah, you don't see that very, very often, you know, and he's controlling really well here. He's looking for submissions. You know, Henna's got to get to the wall, get to the cage, and stand up, get out of the Right now, it's uh, Goldsoft fight. Would this also be the Bader game plan against someone like Hanna Fajera? You know, he's so big, and, uh, you know, you get wild, you know, he's long, you got to get out of the side, and so it's kind of a game plan to be you will get to the face in with, uh, with some shots and, and come, you know, come with punches with those things, keep you guessing. Um, and yeah, take him down, wear him out, and, and uh, you know, get a little of that, uh, that zip off his punches. Goldsoff trying to advance position here, climbing through the middle. Full mount. Yeah, Goldsoff really dominating on the ground right now, trying to set up that arm triangle. I'd also like to see him posture up, try to rain down some ground and pound. Final 10 seconds of this first round, heavyweight world title bout. Dennis Goldsov on top of Hainan Fajera. Both men seeking their first belt and their first $1 million check here. Round two here. 265 pound world championship. Goldsov in the blue. Hena Fajera in the gray. Oh, nice right hand by Fajeda. Hit the over the ear of Dennis Goldsov, and there's another. Oh, and another, another one. Oh, oh he's hurt. Oh, he's hurt. Knocks down big time. And the hammer fist will finish. Problema with the championship! When you have speed and power like that, you can end the fight in an instant, especially when you're a heavyweight like Fajeda. At 26 seconds of round number two. Declaring your winner via TKO. And 2023 PFL heavyweight champion of the world, Hena! Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with your 2023 heavyweight champion for the Celsius post-fight interview, Henan Fajeda. You're filled with emotion, my friend. You have a million dollar check. You have a gold belt around your waist. Can you think of a day in your life that's been as special as this? Cheio de emoção, cinturão, cinturão em você, milhão, um milhão de dólares aí no check. Existe algum outro dia na sua vida que você sentiu esse tipo de emoção? Primeiramente, quero agradecer a todo mundo pelas energias aí, por vibrar bastante aí na minha luta. Minha família ali, meus amigos, Vitão, Claudina, todo mundo. É, Anderson Manga que tá aqui, meu empresário, meu pai, meu amigo. E muito feliz, cara. Eu pedi tanto a Deus por, pra, pra concretizar esse meu sonho. E trabalhei muito duro. E aqui estou, cheguei, sou prova viva que tudo que você quiser, você consegue. É só trabalhar duro, seu momento vai chegar. 
just want to thank everyone out here for supporting me, all my friends, family, coaches. None of this goes unnoticed. I've worked my entire life for this. This goes to every single one of you out here. Believe in yourself, trust in your dreams. You can accomplish it all. You've achieved so much already in your, in your young mixed martial arts career, but we had the Bellator champion Ryan Bader watching, of course, the great Francis Ngannou as well. Lots of big possibilities in your future. What do you want next? Campeão do peso pesado do Bellator, Ryan Bader, estava assistindo a luta aqui ao vivo com a gente. Tem o Francis Ngannou na jogada também. O que, que você quer ir para o seu próximo passo? Eu sou o novo campeão. Ô, Francis, estou aqui, irmão. Estou te esperando. Oh, vamos fazer essa luta. I'm the new PFL heavyweight champion. Francis, I'm here. I'm waiting for you. Let's make this fight happen. Wow, what a fight that's going to be, ladies and gentlemen. Your 2023 champion, Henan, for Henan.